Hi, I'm Jesse LeBeau, and I'm an actor, author, and motivational speaker. And now I live in Hollywood, and I'm making a living doing what people told me I wouldn't be able to do, and that's playing basketball. By following my dreams, I've been able to play basketball on an international stage and star in commercials and movies alongside some of the biggest names in sports and entertainment. I've been overlooked and underestimated my whole life, but by setting goals and believing in myself, I've been able to experience all sorts of fun and exciting things I never thought I would get to do. I'm living proof that with hard work, goals, and perseverance, you can accomplish the impossible. Being an undersized white kid from a little island in Alaska, I'm the last person who should be on TV next to famous athletes and celebrities. But by believing in myself and taking action, I've been able to create a unique lifestyle that people told me wasn't possible. Now I'm using my underdog story to inspire others to chase their dreams. So my story starts in Alaska on a little tiny island. It was just my house and a couple other houses and then the woods. And in the woods was a lot of uh, deer and a lot of bears. First off, have you guys ever seen a bear in person? Yes. Anyone? Yeah? Yes. How big are they? Huge. They're huge, right? Have you ever heard what you're supposed to do if you come face to face with a bear? I heard it over here somewhere. Act dead. I looked there was a bear. I was like, oh, I'm supposed to, I'm supposed to play dead. I felt like a little girl and ran as fast as I possibly could and I survived. So if I were you, I would suggest you do the same thing. If you see a bear, get that heck out of there. I'm still trembling right now. Very sure. After I saw that movie, it changed my life. And I wanted to do the same thing. Except mine was more of an outdoorsy Alaska Channel version. We can either build people up or tear them down with what we have to say. And I want to encourage you guys to build people up because there's going to be a time in your life when you need somebody to tell you an encouraging word. And if you were there for other people, people are more likely to be there for you. Another thing you can do is surround yourself with positive people. I told you my story, how people told me I couldn't do things, but my attitude dictated what I was actually able to do. I like to do three things when I share my message. First, I connect with the kids by using humor and making fun of myself. Secondly, I like to encourage them by telling them stories of triumph and struggle in my own life. And lastly, I empower by giving them the tools and steps they can take to create the life that they want to live. I have a lot of fun and love to entertain. I bring my basketball and show some of the flashy tricks that have landed me on the Hollywood big screen. I show the audience clips from some of my commercials and movies to keep them engaged and to show firsthand proof that anything is possible. I'm excited to share my story to inspire others to follow their dreams and create a life that is uniquely their own. Hi, my name is Brent Kaiken. I'm the principal of Ridgecrest Intermediate School, and I just want to say we had a great uh, assembly, actually three assemblies today for our 6th, 7th, 8th graders in honor of Yellow Ribbon Week and anti-bullying. Jesse and Mark came, did a great presentation. They really connected with the kids, with their basketball skills and their kind of their their real life stories. And I think that uh, the kids really got a lot from that. And I'm hoping that and, and really understand that there's more than a handful of kids that will take something from that. I'm sure they'll be thinking of that for a long time to come. So I appreciate them coming and look forward to uh, future endeavors.